Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a spring inspired tutorial. I got out my bright orange shirt and I thought, you know what, this is just so springy. I wanted to do something that made me think of spring, like the blue sky, you know, bright orange construction cones. And so I wanted to kind of pull together a look and do that. So I did like a blue smoky eye. Can you see? It looks pretty good. Oh my gosh, how did I go on camera? I got mascara on my eyeliner. Oh, I did not do a wing today because oh, I just wasn't feeling it. I just didn't have the time. I already took so long to put all this on that I just was like, oh, I am not messing with the wing liner. And then, you know, I put on my blush today and I really had a hard time choosing. I'm like, should I match my shirt or should I do pink? And it looks like I forgot to change it, but I put both on just to see which one I want. I kind of left them both on. Is that okay? Maybe nobody will notice. And this nude lip, oh my gosh, you know, it is all the rage to kind of overline your lips a little bit and then choose a lip liner that's like probably about four shades darker than your lipstick and it just gives you that pouty, you know, that pouty look. Oh my gosh, I am loving this look. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this look, keep watching. April Fools! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are coming over from Brianna's channel, welcome. I hope that didn't scare you away. But Brianna and I decided that it's April 1st. Let's do an April Fool's joke. And I was, I'm like, yes, that is genius. So I am so down to do that because any anytime I can have fun on my channel, I'm gonna do it. Um, so anyways, this is gonna be the look that we are gonna be creating. Not the first look, unless you want a tutorial. <laughs> I can most definitely handle doing a tutorial on that. Um, today's look is going to be a spring tutorial, a spring inspired tutorial. And my look today, I actually, last week, was sitting in the hospital. My husband was having surgery and I was looking through a magazine and I saw a picture of the most beautiful spring bouquet of flowers. It had Oh, all the spring flowers that come out that was full of yellows and greens and purples and hot pinks and it just was gorgeous and it completely and utterly inspired me to do a look around that. So that is where this makeup look is coming from. That is where all of this springy stuff is coming from. I am ready for spring and so it is officially spring now. So I thought, well, Brianna, let's do something around that theme. So that is what we've chosen to do. Um, Brianna, if you do not know who she is, you need Need to go on over and subscribe to her she's beautiful her makeup is flawless she is completely and utterly full of knowledge when it comes to skincare her makeup collection is insane like she has awesome stuff I'm totally jealous I told her I'm like can I come over and play in your makeup and she's like oh yeah sure she lives like way far away from me but if she lived closer Brianna I would be coming on over I would bring coffee I would make you some cookies and we could just chit chat Ooh, I would bring wine and <laughs> she's just easy to be around she's just fun um and so go on over and check her out watch her video because she's going to be creating a spring look too and I'm so excited to see what she's going to be doing so today we're going to be doing like a chit chat style of video so this is like how I normally get ready chit chat with my friends that's kind of how I like to make it feel so that's what it's gonna be and so without further ado welcome from Brianna's channel and let's roll right on into this all right so to start off this springy look I want to have a very dewy fresh looking complexion and I do not want to have pores so I'm going to get rid of them with the Smashbox pore minimizing primer I really like this primer I love the fact that it's pore minimizing but yet yeah, you can still use it for your entire face um, it really just makes my face feel really flawless and smooth. So if you have any sort of texture issues, uh, this would be a good primer to try out. My sweet friend Lisa sent me this um, Girl on Laundry to Pole Foundation. I love this stuff, and I've only ever had samples of it. Um, I actually had a, quite a few samples because I just, I loved it so much, but I just never bought it. And this did not work out for her. She has more combo to oily skin, and this didn't really work for her. I'm more normal skin. Now that we're heading into summer, I'm getting a little bit more oily and whatever, but for the most part, this is a beautiful foundation. Um, I'm in the shade 03. As you can see, I'm started self-tanning now so I can bust out my darker shades of foundation. And um, I love this foundation. In fact, I went back and started watching some of my older videos, and I was like, man, my face looks so good. What am I wearing? And it was always this foundation. Um, I'm going to use this thing. I got it wet, so it's like doubled in size. 
Um, she sent me this little beauty sponge from Canada. I have no idea what brand it is. I think, is it Quo, maybe? <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, I'm going to use this sponge to apply this. Um, it definitely shears it out, but I just love how easy it is to blend with the sponge. You don't really have, you can't get cakey with this, is I guess. It's just a foolproof way to blend everything in. Some of my favorite videos to film are these Get Ready With Me's. And I usually post them, now that I've started my Chit Chatter Day, I usually post them on Saturdays. But um, Brianna and I decided to do a Get Ready With Me type style video, so that's why you're getting this in the middle of the week. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stay well. Um, chit Chatter Days are exactly what the title suggests. <laughs> they are a chit chat style video, whether it's a Get Ready With Me or a chit chat about products. They're just, um, I always have long videos, let's be real, but they just give me the freedom and give you the knowledge that, hey, this is going to be a chit chat longer video. So sit back, it's the weekend. Saturday nights, there's usually nothing on TV. If you're getting ready for work, I love to listen to longer videos instead of stopping and changing the video. That one ends, change, you know what I mean? I mean, I create playlists, but sometimes it's fun just to listen to one person. And I find for me, it's a great way for you to get to know more about me. Because I just, I mean, I talk about all kinds of things, whatever is on my mind, really. Um, so I did, sorry, every time I put my foundation on, I watch it back. I'm like joking when I'm doing this. But I like to blend it down past my jawline. I'm going to conceal those blemishes, actually, with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Concealer. I use this for blemishes and redness on my face. Fabulous concealer. Stays in place all day. I'm in the shade Medium, which is kind of my summer color here. But I'm just going to cover those up. This really works, so if you're looking for a spot concealer and you don't want to use cream, I like the liquid, and I like that I can apply this with the stick, just like so. I got a chicken pock. <laughs> you ever notice that? I have a chicken pock scar right here, and I have one right here on my lip. And it bothers me because my lipstick's never perfect because I, I picked the chicken pock. For my under eye concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. Um, I'm in the shade Light. So in other news, um, did you guys see my hair tutorial I posted last Sunday? It was my first ever one, and I was really excited about it. Um, it's a really beautiful, uh, quick, easy tutorial, something anybody can achieve. Um, and I had a lot of fun with it. Did you guys like that? Would you like to see more hair tutorials from me? Because I have a couple, like, signature Chelsea hairstyles uh, that I could definitely, you know, if you're interested in another hair tutorial like that, I could do that for you. This concealer is very thick, okay? So you don't need very much, first of all, and you really need to use your fingers to apply it, to emulsify it because it is so thick, but it has really good coverage. Before I move on to the rest of my products here, I'm gonna do a little cream highlighting and contouring, or I should say highlighting and bronzing. I'm really into cream right now, and I'm almost out of this MAC Prep and Prime and Radiant Rose, so I really just wanna use it up. Do you get like that when you get towards the end of things? Because I do. When I get the, towards the end of something, I'm just like determined to use it up. And I, I don't know why. I should be the opposite where I'm like savoring it. But I just, I'm like, I'll get so excited about it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be done with this. I can buy something new. <laughs> Maybe that's my motivation, huh? Terrible, I know. I actually want to try, I want to try, what was the one I wanted to try? Well, I don't mind this. And I know you can get the drugstore version. But I'm really curious about the actual YSL one. And right now they have a limited edition rose one, which is going to be similar in shade to this, which I like. Um, I'm curious. Have you guys seen that? Have you tried it? Is it worth the bang to buy that way more expensive one when I could probably buy two of these for the same price? So on a mission to use this up. And I love it. I just have my Chanel Soleil de Tan sitting down there. And I just can't bust it open until I use this up. It's the Sony Kashuk. Cashew, whatever, however you say that. Um, cream bronzer. I'm in the shade Warm Tan. I would have bought the darker shade in this just because it was less warm. But this is still good um, to really bronze up your complexion. And I'm literally almost done. So if you're looking for a cream bronzer, I highly recommend this. I love it. I just love how undetectable it is. It just really gives warmth without... You know, it's easy to blend, it's cream. If you have drier skin, something like this is gonna be 
more friendly on your skin, which you probably already figured that out. Um, I kind of like to bronze up more of my forehead because I learned this trick from Candy Johnson that if you bring your bronzer down further, it makes your forehead look smaller. And I feel like my forehead is really large. And so I like to bronze it up a little bit more. So after I'm done filming this video, we are going to take the kids hiking. And then we have a little get together tonight. I got burned here, I think. Oh my gosh, it's starting to warm up, so I keep forgetting that when I go outside here, I have to wear sunscreen. Well, you should wear sunscreen anyways, but, uh, you know, it just burns so easily. We're at a much higher elevation here in Colorado, so the sun just burns you so quickly. Just going to use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. That's the other thing. Okay, so I was at Sephora buying some stuff, perhaps, and I saw Tara Babies talk about it, but I hadn't seen it in person yet. But it's this new yellow, it comes in this cute old fashioned little tin. It's a yellow brightening powder that you can use to for your under eyes or just, or even like to sharpen up your contour. I'm thinking about getting it. It smells like vanilla. It was just so stinking cute. But I can't remember what she said about it, what her thoughts were on it. I think she wasn't like blown away by it, but she thought that the tin was, the tin was cute and it just was, you know, it was just a powder. Might have to try it. It was so sticking cute. And you know, there's cute packaging. You just get sucked right on in. I'm going to set my face here with the Laura Geller Balance of Brighten Foundation in Medium. I love this stuff. So this is a great powder to set your makeup because it gives you a little bit more coverage. You can use this on its own as a powder foundation. I've actually never done that. Powder foundations for me typically don't work because I have sometimes drier skin in the winter. And in the summer, I just, I don't know, I gravitate towards like a layer weight foundation or a CC cream. Um, but anyways, I love this stuff. And I love this brush. I got this brush, the Pro Push Pro. I can't say P's on camera or S's. I swear I can talk in real life. Um, number 59, <laughs> Pro Precision Powder Brush from Sephora. Bought this on a whim too. I was not planning on buying this, but then I had her try something on me and then I walked out of the store with this brush because it was soft. And I like the taperedness of it. So you can like highlight, you can contour, you can bronze, heck you can do what I'm doing. You can do whatever with it. I just like it. I'm going to use a, a powder bronzer. I've been doing, I know it's more steps, but it just gives you a really flawless look. And if you want your makeup to really last, you kind of got to put on layers essentially. So this is the Laura Mercier Bronze number 03. This came in a gift with purchase, and this is a good size little bronzer, especially when you own like 50. <laughs> um, but I like this. It's really cute. And my favorite way to bronze right now is with the Real Techniques Multitask Brush. I just can't stop. It's soft. It blends easily. It's not too stiff. So I bought a bronzer, like bronzing brush, but it's too stiff, and I feel like it moves everything around that I already did. It's like... You prep your canvas and you go to put something on your face and it like jacks it all up and then you look all smeary and stuff, you know. But I, I've been loving this brush because it's soft. You can really get a light application with it. <sighs> and it blends well. And best part, it's cheap. I think this one though, you have to get it in a kit. You know, like the travel, I think it's a travel kit or the core essentials or something. Which doesn't matter because I, I love a, lo a lot of their brushes. There's a couple that I'm not in love with. I haven't tried the new ones, you know, those new gold and copper brush, uh, handled ones. I just like, I use these. I like these. Gonna contour at the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium. And I've been using an eyeshadow brush to do this because this definitely creates a shadow, but I don't need a crazy shadow. I just like to create a little bit of a shadow. So I like to use the um, Tapered Blending Brush number E40 and dip it in here. And then just do like a small little bit back here. Because I have a pretty narrow face, so I don't need like a super sharp con contour, you know. But I definitely want to create a little bit of a, a definition here. So this may be a disaster. But I've watched a couple of videos on this whole baking thing. And when they first said baking... I had no clue what they were going to talk about. I'm like, you're going to bake your face? Like, what the heck is that? Well, essentially what it is, is it's a way to, like, clean up your contour. So, I put a little bit of this, oh boy, I put powder in there. Can you see it? The air spun powder. 
here, air spun powder. Looks like that. And I'm, I have a little makeup sponge. And I'm just going to dip my sponge in there. And what they did was they put the powder under here and they let it bake. Like literally just sit on their face. And then they brushed it off and their contour was really sharp. So we're going to try it. So while that's baking, I'm going to do my brows. And let me tell you why I'm not going to zoom in. Because they are hairy. There are way too many hairs. I need to get them waxed. And I'm ashamed of myself. So my brows started out small. And then they grew. They are large and in charge today. Kind of like those little, those little sponge things you get in your Easter basket and you put them in water and they grow or they turn into an animal like a dinosaur or something. Yeah, that's what happened. Um, but my sideburns are ready. So I'm going to dust off that powder. I don't know. Did it work? Kinda. It's just essentially like highlighting, I guess. Oh, it looks, it looks okay. It looks alright. Not too bad. Okay, and now for my blush today, I'm going to use one of my all-time favorite blushes ever. I have no idea what I'm going to do with my eyes yet. I have a whole bunch of shadows sitting here. We're just going to roll with it. But I do know what I'm doing for my blush, and that is the Lorac Exposed Baked Matte Blush. Looks like this. So brightening, so beautiful for spring and summer. It's peachy, but it's like a brightening peach. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. Oh, I love it. So we're going to put our blush on while I think about what kind of eye look I'm going to do here. I don't always like... Usually I like to at least plan it out a little bit. But since I was inspired by that picture that I saw in a magazine, and uh, I'm going to do something in that color combination. Um, some people have asked me, like, what inspires you? Well, honestly, pictures in magazines, um, prints, like this dress inspires me. I mean, you could make an eye look in many different, many different colors just by looking at a pattern. So patterns inspire me, prints. Um, sometimes when I'm just out and about and I'll see, like, a, I'll see a person's scarf or I'll just see what kind of clothes. Like, I usually do my makeup kind of around what I'm going to wear anyways, so... That's kind of where I get my inspiration. Of course, Pinterest and watching other people, um, celebrities, like how their makeup artists do their makeup and stuff like that. So I'm going to go bold for my highlight today. And I'm going to use the Becca Shireen Skin Perfector in Opal. Ah, oh, this is gorgeous. I want to get Moonlight though because this does add a little bit of color to the tops of my cheeks which is fine in the winter or in the summer but when I'm more fair this kind of yellows my cheeks a little bit so I would like to get moonlight because that's definitely more it's a lighter shade oh it's gorgeous and I've been doing ooh that's a little too much look like a Rudolph but I do like to highlight the center of my face like so For this spring look, I want to be very glowy. Very just glowy. So I'm just kind of going a little crazy with the highlight situation here. But gosh, you see all that? That is, that's insane. Alright, so we're going to do something super fun and colorful for my eye look. I did my one eye because I honestly had no idea what I was going to do. And it could have been a disaster. So, um, we're going to do just the one eye, which whatever, you're still getting ready with me. Um... I've already primed my eye. I used the Too Faced Shadow Insurance today. And the first thing I'm going to do is I wanted to use, um, I had just recently hauled a bunch of new makeup I, makeup geek eyeshadows and a couple of their foiled eyeshadows. So we are going to play with those today. Um, if you haven't seen that haul, that will be linked below if you want to see what else. I bought a whole bunch of stuff. Just a whole bunch of crap. I even tried some of the things on. Just kind of different um, than I normally do. I've never actually tried the clothes on, but I thought it would be fun for a change of pace. So I'll have that link below if you want to go see all the new things and goodies that I've recently hauled but let's get on um, with this the first thing I'm gonna do is take vanilla bean matte cream shade I've been doing this every single time I do my eyeshadow now I take some sort of matte shade and dust it all over I just find that my shadows blend so much better first of all and it gets rid of any discolorations you may have and it just gives a really light bright look to the eye you could just 
do like a, a shade in your crease and then a shade, you know, on your brow bone or on your lid after this and be done. It's just really simple and it's, I don't know, I think it's just pretty just to have a light cream dusted all over your eye. Do not look at the hairs. I concealed them, um, but they might be uh, showing in this HD camera here. Um, anyways, enough about the hairs. The next thing I'm going to do is take the Makeup Geek Mango Tango. This is one of my favorite blending brushes. Okay, I have to sneeze. Sorry, this is one of my favorite blending brushes. It's the Sephora Pro Crease number 10. Mine's kind of getting wild here. And I'm going to put this in my crease. I love Mango Tango. It looks scary in the pan, but when you blend it out in the eye, especially if you have um, blue or green eyes, this is so flattering. It's such a pretty springy, summery shade too, because it's so warm. It's almost like a like an orangey red with a hint of pink. It's just, it's fun. I challenge you, if you are normally a neutral girl, if you're scared of color, to try this. Um, as you can see, it just is really already making my eye color pop, and all I did was put a little bit in the crease. So, um, you just want to put it in your crease this way, and I'm actually going to kind of keep it up and out. Normally, I kind of bring it down, but I am kind of going to bring it up and out for this, this look, I guess. On Saturday, I posted a video of what I'm wanting to get or what is on my Sephora wish list. If you haven't seen that, that's a good video. I want you to watch it, actually. And then I want you to give me some feedback. I want to know if I, the things I'm wanting are good, and I want to know what's on your wish list. Like, what are some things that you're like, oh, Chelsea, you need to get this if you don't have it. Like, it's super awesome. Next, I'm going to take Goddess, which is so pretty. It's like this golden coppery shade. Um, it's just stunning. Bronzy coppery shade, actually. And I'm going to take a small tapered blending brush from Sigma. I want it to be more tapered because I want to get it into this crease area here. So any old brush will do. And I'm just going to... Can you see what I'm doing like this? Put it in my crease like so. You see how pretty that is? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. This would be stunning all over the lid, but... I'm not using it as a lid shade today. I thought about it, but then I decided I wanted to use one of those foiled eyeshadows instead. Next I'm going to take this color called Sensuous, and this is another really beautiful, I picked out some beautiful shades, and ironically when I was ordering them, I wasn't trying to put a look together, but I'm literally using all the ones that I bought together in an eye look. Um, Sensuous, and I'm going to take a small little shading brush, brush from Real Techniques here. Because I'm just going to do like, um, I'm going to kind of draw into my crease here, like an outer V shape. Like so. Like a sideways V, you know? Wow, that is such a gorgeous color. And then I'm just going to kind of blend this onto my lid a little bit here. I'm going to brighten up the edges of that, and I'm going to probably have to go back and do this after I apply my lid shade. But I want to start off uh, with the shade Wisteria in a Makeup Geek Outer V brush first. Just to kind of diffuse the edges here. And I'm just going to lay down like on the edges a little bit. The lighter purple shade. And then blend that onto my lid. I'm going to take with my finger the foiled eyeshadow in Grandstand. And this is so incredibly creamy you guys. It's not even funny. And I'm going to blend that onto my lid with my finger. My brow bone and inner corner, I'm going to take Max Shroom. I don't, I guess I could have used Shimmer Shimmer, Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek, but I don't have that palette out, so I'm just grabbing this one. This is probably even a little bit more of a white um, highlight, but I like to have a really pretty, stronger inner corner highlight because my eyes are pretty deep set here. I'm going to um, line my eyes with the Inglot Gel Eyeliner in number 77, just a black gel eyeliner. I think this is a beautiful, easy to work with, super creamy gel eyeliner. I have not tried any from the drugstore, but this one's only $13, so I figure it's right in there with the price point anyways. And now for some fun, I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Gel Eyeliner in the shade Mystic. Check that out. 
that doesn't say spring, I don't know what does. So this is going to be our stem to the flowers. Um, I'm going to put this on my lower lash line here, really smudge it into that uh, lash line so that there's no skin showing through. And I might get a little bit on that waterline there, so I might have to touch that up a bit. But we're going to bring this all the way in. We're going to cover it up with some shadow here. And this is, I was on the hunt last year for a really pretty mint green, a matte shade, however, so that I could use it to set liner and use it as a crease shade if I wanted to. And I found one from Inglot. It looks like this. It's number 345. It's so beautiful, is it not? So I'm just going to take a pencil brush uh, like this and follow the liner just to kind of brighten it up a little bit, set it in place. I also like to kind of create a smoky effect underneath here. I'm just going to give my lashes a little curl here. I feel like nothing looks good until you get your eyeliner and mascara. And I feel like it just looks blank and unfinished. So I'm just going to do a light coat of mascara. And then I am going to be applying false lashes, and I'm using the, um, let me just show you here because it's tricky to do on camera, but the Cherry Blossom number 15s, they look like so. Look, Isn't this fun? I absolutely love it. It is so reminiscent of a bouquet of flowers. It's not even funny. So I'm going to use Laura Mercier's Plumberry Lip Liner, just a great natural everyday pink color. And then another new uh, lip product that I had recently hauled in that same haul was her new paint washes. I really like this. I love it, actually. Um, <laughs> why I didn't say that at first, I don't know. It's petal pink is the color. It's just, it's like this whipped, moussey feeling, but it really stays on for a long time. And it's such a pretty sh shade of pink. So here's the finished look, guys. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. I had so much fun doing this spring look. I feel very springy today. It is indeed a very springy day outside. Um, if you have not yet checked out Brianna's channel, make sure to go on over and watch her. You are going to be so happy that I introduced you to her. Trust me, she's fabulous. Her makeup is always perfect. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you're coming over from Brianna's channel, welcome. I hope you stay well. I had so much fun getting ready with you today. And I will chit-chat with you soon. Bye. Loves a game. Wanna play?